Hello everybody, my name is Anatoly and today we're watching South Park Cartoon Wars Part 2. Let's see how this goes. Previously on South Park. Previously. The popular cartoon Family Guy is going to show the image of Muhammad uncensored. If we all bury our heads in sand, we can avoid being any part of this. I think they're gonna put some random elements in this. Get that episode pulled before this gets out of hand. You just want Family Guy off the air. <laughs> President, there's something about the Family Guy writing staff I think you should know. And now, the thrilling conclusion of Cartoon Wars will not be seen tonight, so that uh, we can bring you this Terrence and Philip television special. Are you kidding me? My PTSD from the second season of South Park just kicked in. God damn you, South Park. Are you serious? having a holiday here at the Lazy J Ranch? It sure is! I don't even care about the fact that Terrence is fat right now. <laughs> oh, look who's coming! Isn't that Muhammad, the holy prophet of the Muslim religion? <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> okay, we're on to something. Does he also fart? I mean the bull of Muhammad, not Muhammad himself. How the, how the hell do I talk myself out of this? Hello, Muhammad! We've read all about you in the Quran. I'm here to investigate a murder. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? You censored out the image of Muhammad in our television special. Hey, you guys know the rules. Nobody can show the image of Muhammad anymore. It's dangerous. But you ruined the whole show. Look, I'm not going to risk the lives of the people at this network. Let's just forget about it, okay, guys? <laughs> Let's just forget about it. Let's just forget about the fact that we were supposed to get a normal South Park episode, but instead of that we get a Terrence and Philip rendition of the Muhammad problem. I am definitely not pissed off right now. Imagine what a lethal combination Canada and Family Guy would be. Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, come on guys, give me a break. We demand you rerun Mystery at the Lazy J Ranch with Muhammad uncensored. Hey, I run this network, not you guys. And if you ask me, your show has become so preachy and full of messages that you've forgotten how to be funny. <laughs> Just, don't they just fart? He's going to show Muhammad on an episode that airs tonight. I doubt it. I'll bet that right now somebody is on their way to Fox Network to demand that that episode be pulled. Oh, thank you. Thank you so far. That is a huge relief. That is a relief the size of Oprah's ass. Do you remember how Indiana Jones was being raped by Steven Spielberg? I felt violated by Matt Stone and Trey Parker right now. And I kind of like it. <laughs> the South Park security. Ma'am, I need to speak with the president of this network right away. What is it regarding? It's regarding Family Guy. I demand that the Muhammad episode be pulled before it airs tonight. It's incendiary, it's offensive to Muslims, Absolutely. and people can get hurt. It's wrong. It's, it's wrong. It's wrong! Okay, but if you... I remember the Simpsons trolling the Fox network all the time in their episodes. I think it is only in America that you can shit on your own network and not have consequences. You'll have to wait in line. That little boy over there has an appointment to try and get Family Guy off the air altogether. Bart Simpson! Dude, can I go before you? Eat my shorts. <laughs> Mr. Bart Simpson. I wouldn't say that the Simpsons and Family Guy, they are so far away in terms of story writing. Of course, Family Guy is never gonna be the first 10 seasons of Simpsons, but nowadays they're kind of uh, both shit. And not even simple shit. Toxic motherfucking nuclear shit. What the hell is going on? How the hell did Cartman get so far away with his uh, tricycle? Hello? Excuse me, I need to get to Los Angeles. Get, get some hippies in a van or something. Hello! ...starting in a small town in central Colorado. The idea has now spread all over America. If Americans have started burying their heads like this, you can be sure about the fact that Europeans are gonna start doing the same thing in about five years. Muslims continue to riot in the Middle East, demanding that Family Guy not air tonight's episode. And Muslim terrorists continue to make threats. Family Guy better not show Muhammad tonight. I'm serious. Absolutely serious. Family Guy isn't funny. <laughs> if you look closely at the writing in Family Guy, you will see that the jokes never derive from the plot. And I think that's totally gay. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!
I didn't think that I would ever agree with Mr. Ben Laden on something. I also like the fact that the news are being reported by the channel of SNN. How is SNN doing these days? I'm, I'm just asking. And that if Family Guy shows the image of Muhammad as planned, the terrorist retaliation will be immediate. You one of them? Who? How come your head ain't in the sand? The hell was that? So, you don't like Family Guy either, huh? I hate Family Guy. The voice is nice, but what the hell is wrong with his head? What is with that line on his head? That looks atrocious. It looks like Butters wearing his father's ripped underpants on his head. Probably enjoying it as well. So what's your plan? You gonna ask the president of the network nicely to take it off the air? Not nicely. Look, kid. If you hate a TV show, all you have to do is get an episode pulled. Pretty soon the show is compromised and it goes off the air. Cool, man. Yes. So my plan is to use this whole Muhammad thing as a way to scare the network into pulling tonight's show. How about the Super Best Friends episode of South Park? I don't remember South Park being pulled off the air after they done that one. In that specific episode, they actually succeeded at showing Muhammad's representation on the screen. What surprises me the most is the fact that the heads of Matt Stone and Trey Parker, they are still attached to their bodies. I'm going to use fear to get them to do what I want. Absolutely. Just Isn't like... Isn't uh... like terrorism? No, it isn't like terrorism. It is terrorism. <laughs> I could do that. At least this he acknowledges this. At the highest level. You should let me handle this. I'm a pretty bad kid. Really? What's the worst thing you've ever done? I stole the head off a statue once. Wow, that's pretty hardcore. Jeez. That's like this one time when I didn't like a kid, so I ground his parents up into chili and fed it to him. <laughs> I just love how self-aware they become in those two episodes. This one doesn't feel like an episode about the kids. This one feels like an episode about Matt Stone and Trey Parker. You got it, man. You got it. <laughs> See ya. Quite convincing, right? I want to Cooking assure somebody's the parents. American people that as president, I have exhausted every possible solution. Unfortunately, Muhammad will appear uncensored on Family Guy tonight at 7. Mr. President, can't the writers of the show be reasoned with? Don't they know they're putting the country in danger? I have come to understand something about the Family Guy writing staff. Suffice it to say that they will not be persuaded by the possibility of violence. Maybe, maybe Muslims themselves are the writers of Family Guy. You know, I have a little assumption that terrorists might want to see America burn. They might want to see Americans in fear. Thus, they are the writers. What exactly did you learn about the Family Guy writing staff, Mr. President? <sighs> I'm afraid that information is classified. Can't you force the Family Guy writing staff not to write anything about Muhammad? Couldn't you throw them in prison? Look, the <laughs> fact of the matter is the Family Guy Good writing federal staff ways. is protected by something called the First Amendment. Something what called... What is this First Amendment, Mr. President? Thank you, Americans. Once again, an amazing illustration of the fact how most Americans, they just don't understand how blessed they are with the First Amendment. Try to go to Russia and uh, exist. You know, right to free speech. <laughs> oh, nice news. <laughs> what, what was that movement from that guy? He just he just levitated for for a while. Look look at the guy in the middle. He just levitates. Look at that. What the hell is that? How how, how did he pull that off? Oh my. Mr. President, when your administration came up with this first amendment, did it not foresee a problem like this might happen? Your administ Well, we didn't come up with the first amendment. Uh. It was already in place. What do you intend to do about this First Amendment, Mr. President? <sighs> Nullify it. Mr. President, but this First Amendment sounds like a lot of bureaucratic gibberish. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the entire Constitution. Fuck it in the ass. You know, the United States is one of those few countries in the world where a Constitution, it doesn't only exist, its principles, they're applied. A quick reminder that Stalin's constitution was one of the most peaceful on earth, one of the most liberal constitutions on this planet. Okay, let's discuss the fall lineup. Sir, there's still one little boy out here who wants to speak with you about pulling the Family Guy episode. All right, let's get this over with. <laughs> Hello, gentlemen, ladies. The, the crutch my is a tactic. I'm Danny Pocket, and I won't take much of your time. Please excuse my tiny crutch. It's the only way I can get around these days. Ow. Oh, 
Oh, of course. Well, poor kid. Oh, poor kid. Poor kid. Yeah. You see, my father worked for a newspaper in my native country of Denmark. Your this father? Newspaper showed an image of Muhammad and Did Leanne work in Denmark? To be fair, where the hell is the nice sweater of Cardman? If you're ready to pull the emotional card like that, you need a good sweater. Two days later, terrorist suicide bombed his building. I was in the lobby when it happened. First one terrorist suicide bombed us and then dozens more. They just kept coming. Suicide bombers running into the building and blowing up one after another. They were like Mexican jumping beans. <laughs> That's a nice comparison. I just don't want to see people here <laughs> at your studio getting hurt because that would be, of course, your responsibility. <coughs> Ow. I feel okay. terrible. It's so easy to put terrorism out of mind until one of its victims is staring you in the face. Sir, if we pull the episode, the Family Guy writing staff will refuse to work again. Little boy, will you talk to the Family Guy writing staff? If your story touches their hearts like it has ours, perhaps they'll back down from demanding we air the episode. What? Who the hell is writing Family Guy? Papa Francis himself, perhaps? I'm still gonna go with the assumption that Family Guy is an insider terrorist job. That would actually explain a lot. Like that one time when we visited the World Trade Centers with an airplane. They do my best. <laughs> Take this noble child over to the Family Guy offices. Take this noble child. You can scare child. them like he has us. Maybe we can pull the Muhammad episode after all. Yes, and then Family Guy is as good as dead. What was that? I, I said thank you. Thank you for listening. Thanks a lot for the ride. Hey, it's the least I could do. I hope you succeed, kid. I really don't want to see Family Guy go off the air. I love that show. I'll do everything I can. I mean, I know it's just joke after joke, but I like that. At least it doesn't get all preachy and up its own ass with messages, you know? Actually, yes. That is what I've mentioned previously about Family Guy. It's nice to watch as a compilation, just not as a whole. It is not that bad. I dare you to watch an episode of Simpsons these days. Worst mistake of my life. Didn't this guy want to kill uh, Kyle? Excuse me. Do you know which way the network president's office is? Who wants to know? Look, my fat bastard friend is trying to trick the network into getting Family Guy off the air. The network president's office isn't there. Oh, thanks, dude. No problem, man. So Bart Simpson and uh, Cartman are actually gonna collaborate on this one? That is not a collaboration that I was expecting, but I kind of suddenly need it. Let's be frank, Cartman is just Bart Simpson on anabolic steroids. This can't be right. I Blood! Kawabanga, motherfucker. Okay, I'll take that. Hello, Mitchell. Oh, hi, Miss Travis. The president has asked that little Danny Pocket here speak with the Family Guy writing staff. Are you sure they're working on a new episode right now? It won't take long, sir. <coughs> All right, I'll take him back. Follow me, little Danny. You must I, um... be excited. Not many people get to meet our writing staff. Yes, I'm totally excited. Very I am guys. genuinely intrigued right now. Who are the true masterminds behind? Holy fuck, Lois, I'm coming. I want to see the prodigy of the one-liners here. So funny. Well, here we are. Danny, the Family Guy writing staff. What? Manatees. Are those manatees? Are they? They're manatees. Gretchen and Flubber are from the Gulf of Mexico. Tigger, Pete, and Lucy are from the Caribbean Sea. <gasps> Family Guy is written by manatees? Of course. It all makes sense now. How does it make sense now? I only see one option here. Those are terrorist manatees. They really are brilliant creatures. You see, the right side of the tank is filled with idea balls. Each idea ball has a verb, <sighs> noun, okay, or pop culture <laughs> reference written on it. There's millions of them. The I get it now. Manatees choose an idea ball and swim it over to the joke combine <laughs> on the other side of the tank. There goes Gretchen. She's coming up with an idea. Oh, she came up with Gary Coleman. The idea balls drop into the joke combine and form a part of the new script. <laughs> Laundry, date, winning, Mexico, Gary Coleman. <laughs> I think I have some of those manatees in my head writing jokes for me. Only in this late hour do I realize how close I am to the family guy joke writing structure. I feel personally offended by this manatee scene. Perfect family guy joke. I can see it now. Peter, you didn't like that one time. You think that's bad? Remember the time I won a date to Mexico with Gary Coleman? <laughs> if I thought, seniors, what you talking about, Willis? 
Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. These manatees <laughs> demanded that Muhammad be shown? How? Manatees don't talk. When Fox censored the image of Muhammad last week, it also meant that the Muhammad ball had to come out of the idea tank. It made the manatees very upset. Pull just one idea ball out of the idea tank, and the manatees stop working. H here, I'll show you. Keith! Those are American manatees. Try to also get the guns of those manatees away, they're gonna smash your ass. There is more freedom of speech in those manatees than in the entire European Union. Alright, alright, put it back in. Manatees are very ethical writers. Either everything's okay to write about or nothing is. Anyway, the president of the network wanted you to speak with- God bless manatees, manatees ladies and oh, gentlemen. yes, yes. Um, <clears throat> hello, manatees. I, I think you should allow the network to pull your episode with Muhammad. See, I'm the victim of a, a terrorist attack, and terrorists might come after you if you- That isn't gonna work on them. Why not? Don't you know anything about manatees? They're the only mammals that are completely unmoved by terrorist threats. <laughs> How about beavers? No, 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 no. After 9-11, it doesn't work anymore. We do not deserve manatees, ladies and gentlemen. Case closed. Hello, Cap. Master Looks minds. like you've run into a little snag in your plan as well. You fat son of a bitch! You came so close to stopping me, didn't you, Cap? There was just one thing you didn't count on. That more people besides me hate Family Guy. Yeah. Well, a lot of people like Family Guy, too. Who are you to decide it shouldn't be on the air? Shut up. You shut your fucking face, man. <laughs> I never work? heard Bart swear. That does not feel right. I think Bart himself might be absolutely scared of Carbe, which is... Which is quite understandable. I don't think he has the desire to eat some Marge and Homer soup. Did you scare the network into pulling the episode? Not yet, but I've come up with a new plan. I've learned how to make the Family Guy writing staff stop working. As soon as everyone goes on their lunch break, I can sneak back in. Cool, man. Carmen, let me out of this stupid net! Good, Kyle. That's good anger you're showing there. You see that? That's emotional character development based on what's happening in the story now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I might need pen and paper on this because this is a nice storytelling lesson. This is storytelling 101 from Cartman. Not at all like Family Guy. Now, if you'll excuse me, Kyle, I've got some idea balls to remove from a manatee tank. Understandable. What? I don't understand it. What's wrong with them? We don't know, Mr. President. They just stopped working. Nobody took any idea balls out of the tank, did they? No, sir, none of us did. Then why are they refusing to write? I agreed to show Muhammad uncensored. I did what you asked. What do you want from me? I even bet that Carbon dropped a sack of Jewish balls in there. That, that did not sound right. Well, it doesn't really matter because now they won't write anymore. Sir, sir, if you don't mind my saying, I think you asked for this. You gave in to the manatees last week. Now they know all they have to do is refuse to work and they can get whatever they want. You've spoiled them by caving in. Now they think they can walk all over you. Hollywood Sir, writers. you are in charge of this network. Just get Chad GPT. Maybe it's time you showed them who's in charge. You're right. It's time I stopped letting these prima donna manatees tell me what to do. I'm pulling the Muhammad episode, you got that? And if you all don't want to work tomorrow, you can just find other jobs. How long before Family Guy's supposed to air? 25 minutes. I gotta hurry. Did it. I am God! Wait, what? I did not expect that burst of divine acknowledgement right there. Even from such a self-indulgent being as Cartman. But knowing that this is South Park, freedom of speech is gonna prevail eventually. Don't worry about that. The guy is going off the air. No more family guy for me, mon friend. Cartman! You fucking fat ass. <laughs> How the hell did you get out? That kid and I had a long talk. I told him he was on a slippery slope to becoming a monster like you. Ah, uh, goddammit, you Made gave him one deal. of your gay little speeches, didn't you? You are not killing Family Guy. I learned something you today. Huh? The president of the network is pulling the episode. Family Guy is as good as dead. There's still time to tell the network president you're full of crap. I can't let you do that. Get out of my way or I'll kick your ass. Fine, Kai. I guess it was inevitable. Um, Let this be our final battle. Carbon is gonna get his ass smashed. That body does not work as efficiently as that mouth. Only one exception. If you're fighting a midget in the Jesse Jackson episode, but that's it. Ah! 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 
<laughs> Stop it, guys. Now, Stop it. King of the Hill. Now remind yourselves how epic was the fight between Jimmy and Timmy and how lame this looks. Maybe you should be crippled in order to be a good fighter in South Park. Once again, a midget would, would make this one better. Old age. Oh, dude, that, that was in the box. Dude, seriously, seriously, that was in the box. No hitting, no hitting in the box. This reminds me somehow of the vomit scene from Team America. I don't know how, maybe only the length of it. <laughs> what do you spend? <laughs> okay. Reminds me of me fighting my brother when I was little. I am Cartman, by the way. Okay. Stop it. Okay. 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 You win. You win. I give up. <laughs> no! <laughs> I had my fingers crossed. <laughs> Cartman, 11 death sentences for that one. You either embed his fat ass into the ground or you do not make a deal with him. You know, sometimes Kyle is a little bit retarded. Once again, blood. Thanks, kid. Network control, this is the president. I want you to pull the episode. What? Mr. President, are you sure? I'm sure. Begin episode jettison sequence 02900. <laughs> Abort system initiated. Awaiting confirmation. Mr. President, big need your final approval code. Presidential approval code zero. The fact that they compare this one with a nuclear bomb launch sequence. I think I should be given five of those buttons. What do you think? Bulgaria, <laughs> I'm afraid I have bad news for you. Destruct. Sir, Mr. Television Executive, stop! Who are you? Listen to me. The little boy who convinced you to pull the episode is a bastard child. He only wants you to pull it because he knows it will be the end of Family Guy forever. The end of Bastard Family in all the senses. Mr. President, we need final authorization. Hold on, Julie. What are you talking about, kid? Pulling an episode because somebody is offended starts a chain reaction. You'll have to pull more and more episodes until the show goes off the air completely. It's what happened to Laverne and Shirley. You mean the manatees aren't trying to run the network? What manatees? <laughs> Go ahead, Mr. President. Continue what you were doing. No! You have to show Muhammad, Mr. President! <sighs> Mr. President, we're awaiting your orders. Sir, just think about what you're doing to free speech. No, think about the people who can get hurt. Uh I don't know who to listen to. Maybe don't listen to kids in the first place. Maybe, I don't know, don't base your views on the opinions of two kids you have just met. The never-ending trend of shifting responsibility. Okay, I'll make it easy for you. Pull the Muhammad episode. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll listen to you. Julie! No! Wait! I can't listen to him! He's a That's a good argument. monster who only wants Family Guy off the air! But he has a gun. This is First Amendment against Second Amendment, the epic battle, the one ultimate battle that decides America's fate forever. You know what I would do? I would give Kyle a gun as well. Just because he's the one threatening you with violence. Shut up, Kath. I can't be responsible for people getting hurt, especially me. Yes, people <laughs> can get hurt. That's how terrorism works. But if you give in to that, Doug, you're allowing terrorism to work. Absolutely. Do the right thing here. If you're Absolutely, you Kyle. Done, Mr. President. I shouldn't even be in the office still. It's supposed to be half day Fridays. Mr. President, 30 seconds to airtime. What do you want us to do? Do the right thing, Mr. President. How about I allow the episode to air, but just censor out the image of Muhammad again? I wish that was good enough. But if you censor out Muhammad, then soon you'll have to censor out more. No gay speeches, Cap! If you don't show Muhammad, then you've made a distinction between what is okay to poke fun at and what isn't. And let me tell you even more than that, you never make deals with terrorists. If they exhibit violence towards you, you exhibit even more motherfucking violence towards them. Either it's all okay or none of it is. Five seconds, Mr. President. Do the right thing. Show Muhammad. Do the right thing. God damn it, I'm rooting for a family guy. Now. What have you done to me, South Park? 
Family Guy goes on air as planned. Uncensored. Yes! Great yeah. decision, sir. Yeah, I hate that again! Probably America is gonna get bombed right now. <laughs> ah, the ground is not even loaded. There has to be an apocalypse after this one. I know it was a nice speech from Kyle, but I have a sentiment of unease in me right now. Peter, you got a pink slip at work? You think that's bad? Remember the time I got a shaman helmet from Muhammad while wearing a toga? Coming, Muhammad. <laughs> Comedy Central has refused to broadcast an image of Muhammad on their network. Wow, well, a Sandy helmet. Thanks! Thank hey. God we're not on Fox, ladies and gentlemen. Thank God Comedy Central takes care of us. I just admire how Matt Stone and Trey Parker, they don't give a shit about trashing their own network. What were we talking about? Oh yeah, my pink slip. Hey, that wasn't bad at all. <laughs> they just showed Muhammad standing there, looking normal. <laughs> the terrorists are retaliating. What? For Dex? The image of Muhammad appears, well, it's terrorists. announced the retaliation. We warned you not to show Muhammad, but Family Guy did it anyways. So now here is our retaliation on America. Osama bin Laden uh, present. We like to crap on each other. <laughs> The president now, now that is something I would watch, ladies and gentlemen. That is something I would watch. A terrorist rendition of Terrence and Philip, or just call it Terrence and Philip. If only jihadists resorted on cartoons about Americans shitting on each other, the world would have been a nicer place. Oh, we love to crap! I'm American. I'm pregnant <laughs> with a baby, but I'm not married. Let's crap! <laughs> Look Absolutely. at me, I'm Jesus. Would you like to yeah, it's it's absolutely you, normal to yeah, it's absolutely normal to make fun of Jesus apparently, but not of Muhammad. Thank you. God bless America. God bless America. Oh yeah, take that. We burned you. That was way funnier than Family Guy. I absolutely agree, Mr. Jihadist. Great episode, ladies and gentlemen. We touched upon so many topics here, as freedom of speech, standards of story writing, people tending to give away their freedoms for a false sense of security. I really enjoyed this two-parter. Once again, this one felt a little bit more like an episode that was primarily not about the kids. It was about Matt Stone and Trey Parker's positions on certain things. Hartman and Kyle's opposing positions, this is an amalgamation of their own beliefs. As much as they hate Family Guy for the way they write their stuff, for the gags that they put in that are not related to the story, they are absolute advocates of freedom of speech, thus, we either have everything banned or nothing banned. You cannot be in between here, it does not work like that. One single ban leads an avalanche of bans. Also, nobody bothered explaining to us what the hell happened to those people that have buried their heads in, in the sand as an act of uh, protecting themselves. I guess that is some sort of an open ending. But that was it for today. Thank you for watching this with me. Like, subscribe, comment, all the usual stuff. Screw you guys. Am I going here?